that we are going to begin in Spartanburg County tonight. And the sheriff here has a warning for any suspects who are thinking about they're going to get away with shooting at his deputies. 7 News' Nikkel Smith talked with the sheriff and a neighbor who says the shooting came to his front yard. Nikkel is joining us live now with the latest. Nikkel. Yeah, Tom and Amy, we're here on Mount Pleasant Road where the scene is now cleared after investigators have it blocked off for hours earlier today. And like you said, we did talk with a neighbor who lives not far from where we're standing right now, and he says all of this came to his front yard, and it was a scary situation. But when he got out, came up, he was shooting. Dale Fowler says shots rang out while he was home Wednesday in a community near Mount Pleasant Road and Highway 221 in Spartanburg County. I knew that I had to get me and my son down close as we could to the floor in case anything come through. He says a bullet hit his house. He and neighbors waited for hours while deputies blocked the road investigating a shootout involving two suspects. Well, I was amazed. Sheriff Chuck Wright says everything started around noon when deputies tried serving warrants that stemmed from drug charges. Deputies say Jarrell Thompson and Jody Stapleton took off with Stapleton behind the wheel. Bad guy gets up with an AK-47 style weapon and starts shooting at our officers and hitting the car. So our officers return fire. The sheriff says the chase ended near the Thurgood Marshall Road area. Bad guy, when we got out of the car chasing him, he started shooting at us some more. So officers returned fire, and I know they hit him in the leg. Deputies say Thompson ran and kicked in the door to a home with a grandmother and granddaughter inside, and that's when they caught him. The sheriff says Stapleton was arrested nearby as well, and some sheriff's vehicles were shot up. I'm telling you, it's only by God's hand that uh, none of our officers got shot. Agents with the state law enforcement division spent hours gathering evidence. What appeared to be unmarked law enforcement vehicles were towed from the scene. We, we don't want to hurt anybody. I want y'all to hear me say that. But we're not going to be fired at, and we're not going to be, um, not going to be treated that way. And the sheriff's office tells us that Thompson has been treated and released from the hospital. We're also told Thompson and Stapleton are now incarcerated at the Spartanburg County Detention Center. The state law enforcement division is now involved with this investigation because it involves a deputy involved shooting. And we're also told that those deputies will be placed on leave as this investigation continues, Tom. Nikhil, it's been some hours now since all this happened. What do we know this evening about the charges these suspects will face? The sheriff's office tells us, Tom, that Thompson is going to be charged with three counts of attempted murder as well as possession of a weapon during a violent crime. We're also told that Stapleton will be charged with accessory before and after the fact of a felony, Tom. All right, Nikhil Smith reporting live in Spartanburg County tonight. Thank you, Nikhil.